Can you just identify yourself so I know I'm speaking to a security guard and then we can continue the conversation? Yeah, I'm Jerry with Boulder County Security. Okay, very Got good. a report of somebody up here taking pictures of the property and the campus. I'm kind of interested in people too, so do you mind if I take your picture? But you have a First Amendment right to take photographs and video in public. All right. So welcome Thank to the you. First Amendment Club. You're our newest member. We appreciate you. Oh, that's, uh, no, I'm not a member of that, but... How's it going guys? Amagansett Press, and we are coming to you today from the Boulder County North Broadway Complex uh, here in Boulder, Colorado. I am out with uh, watching the watchman today. He's wandering around here somewhere. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit here on these folks today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas. Uh, let me give you a view of the neighborhood here. Um, Boulder is beautiful and also always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory waving in the gentle breeze today, as she should. And uh, let's see, I'll give you a little look at the neighborhood here. And while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, January 14th. It is 12.57 in the afternoon and it is 39 degrees and sunny here in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. There's the watchman. Say hello watchman. What's up? All right, so uh, what do you want to do? You want to go over here first or go down this way? I don't know, what do you want to do? No, check out, see what this is. check out, I think this is the health department. Yep, public health on one side and then housing and human services on the other side. So this is housing and human services on this side. Let's see what kind of signage we have on the door here. <clears throat> So as with most of the uh, public entities here in Colorado, services in this facility are by appointment only. Building is closed. The open carrying of firearms is prohibited in this building. Service animals only. I wonder if that means you can bring your uh, miniature horse in. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Birth certificate forms, death certificate forms. Very little space in the middle. Huh. Can I help you? Sorry? Oh, I was just checking to see if you needed some help because he has a door. Yeah, well, do you, uh, do you have any idea? Are you work here, I guess? Uh -huh. Can I, what's your first name? Pauline. Pauline. Um, do you know if there's a date that they'll be opening back up to walk-ins? You know, I don't know. They haven't set a date yet? Sure. No. Mm -hmm. So you are... This do you, is public health over here, so I don't know for sure when they're going to open. And you're in Housing and Human Services? Housing and Human Services, yeah. So are you guys are not... Are you some of the staff working remotely, I guess? The majority of them are working from home. Yeah. Some 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 of them are um, taking walk-ins anyway. I got but all you. the documents are on the side that you need. There's a drop box there. Check those throughout the day, every day. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being You're cordial welcome. and professional. Thank you You're so much welcome. for your help. Thank you. Have appreciate you. Enjoy the sunshine. Know, beautiful, beautiful day. Today, isn't it? We shall see. Howdy. How you doing? Good. Good. Sunlight, man. Yeah, can't complain about the sunshine, that's for sure. Yesterday was so. What kind of cameras are those? GoPro. Oh, really? Yeah. How, how much they cost? Bro, uh, the new ones, the nines, are like $350. Well, that's not bad. No. I just sold like a $950 camera. I lost like $400 bucks on wow, it. Wow, yeah. 
So GoPro, did you get it at uh, Best Buy? Uh, did I get this one at Best Buy or order? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I did get this one at Best Buy, actually. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. Well, right on, day, brother. Man. Have a good day. Use west entrance. All right, so we have some Boulder County uh, vehicles here. Snow plow. Hasn't been much snow this year. Some lockers and a water fountain. Oh, wow, that's weird. There it is. It's like that uh, aquarium thing. Echo. I felt, you know what it reminded me of when we went to uh, Utah with that polluted. Montana. Montana, is that really? Yeah. The polluted thing? Yeah. What was that, in Butte? Butte, yeah. Butte, that's right. I was going to say the uh, uh, maintenance office looks like it's open. Where's that? that? Like right there. Well, right here? Visitors, please wear a mask when entering. Is there anybody inside? I don't know. I don't even know if it's unlocked. It just looks open. Ah. <clears throat> so visitors, please wear. Oh, I don't know. Is it locked? Let's see if anybody's home. Hello. 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 All right, well, nobody here. Before I get accused of taking a drill. <laughs> ring the bell? See if somebody wants to come out. Oh, there you go. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, is there a, because I'm assuming is the, uh, it's hard to see you. The uh, building is closed at this point? Yes. Is that for both walk-ins and appointments, or are you taking appointments? Um, we're doing everything via Zoom. Everything so via Zoom, okay. Yeah, yeah. so um, there's only like the occasional staff here just to do office work. Okay. Not, Fair not enough. Not seeing clients here in the building. Okay. Um, and is, do you know if there's, a, has there been a date set for when they will reopen? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, my name is Jason. I appreciate you coming out and giving us the info. Can I just ask your first name, sir? My name is Beverly. Beverly. Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. All righty. Have a good day. So here we have uh, Leap, whatever that is, in both English and Spanish. Can I help you guys with anything? Sorry? Can I help you with anything? No, not at all. I appreciate it. What, what are you offering? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, well then <laughs> just, I guess you can't. <laughs> just seeing if you guys need any help walking around. No, no, no. What, your security here? Yeah, I am. Okay. And the cameras are for? Just... Recording. Okay. Of what? Can I get your... Can you just identify yourself so I know I'm speaking to a security guard and then we can continue the conversation? Yeah, I'm Jerry with Boulder County Security. Okay, very Got good. a report of somebody up here taking pictures of the property and the campus and... Uh, well, I they just, weren't They weren't lying to you. I. They weren't? No. No, I said they were not lying to you. I understand that, yeah. yeah. And I'm just here to see, you know, if you need anything or what, you know, what your purpose was or... Gotcha. Is there any issue with taking video and walking around? No, you can. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you could certainly do that. Oh, okay. So it's a shame yeah. they called... I don't know what they took you away from, but it's a shame they called you for yeah. something but like that. Yeah, but when you're walking up the doors and taking pictures and then talking to people and videotaping, as you are with me, it's kind of a concern. No, we no, kinda, it would, we I, wonder why. I would say it would only be a concern if you were protesting because, me taking video. Yeah. And then walking up to the doors, I'm just checking out the signs on the doors. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Hey. But, uh, you know, it's also, it's, we're just checking out, well, we're documenting what's going on these days, and it's just, you know, it's a shame to see this big, beautiful campus here empty, and it almost seems like a uh, end of the world scenario here. Yeah. You know, there's like nobody well, around. You can blame that on the COVID, right? I guess. You got to, uh, I guess, what, what they use at my father in law you always used to say, blame doesn't fall on the floor. Yeah. yeah. You got to blame somebody, right? Right. Or something, I guess. I don't know. Like the restaurants and stores and all that, you know. Are, do you live here in Boulder? Big impact. No, I don't. Okay, because we're from down south in Franktown. 
Frank okay, I've heard yep. of Frank Town. Yeah. So uh, I was just going to ask you in Boulder here, what's the uh, what is the restaurant situation? Are businesses closed? Are they? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, uh, for Boulder County. Because then the, the, you can sit outside, you know, and eat like that. Right. But, Out, uh, outdoor only. Yeah. Because I know, I think the governor a week or so ago didn't they drop everything down to orange from red, as far as restrictions. So now like never businesses going, are never allowed going to, to orange, yeah. And, and then, that gives uh, you a twenty five percent occupancy, I think. Right. And but they're not doing that here in Boulder. And the other thing that's required is face masks, which you guys don't have. Even outside. That's in Boulder. Yeah. Well, Outdoors. If you're, if you're around people, yes. You need to wear a, a face mask. Outdoors? Yes. I'd love to see how they enforce that. Well, <laughs> That's you'll, interesting. You'll have to ask the governor and public health for that. Are you well, here on the campus, or did they call you from somewhere else? Yeah, we're, we're here and there. Okay, yeah, cool. I mean, they're, you know, Boulder County's big, so yeah, we're in different places. Just Gotcha. And somebody got out. worried about us taking pictures, huh? <laughs> yeah. What a world. I mean, well, yeah, it, you know, it really is. But uh, I can understand the concern, you know, and then yeah. some places just... Uh, you know what, sometimes I think concern fosters more concern. I mean, you're not going to do this at some government, you know, NORAD or something like that. Oh, yeah, sure I would. You're not going to be doing that. Sure I would. Air Force know. bases, Army bases, yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Not Absolutely. without a little heavier, heavier-handed heavier enforcement. No, they, well, they, they, all the, they, people can only enforce the law, and I don't violate the law, so there's really nothing to enforce. Yeah. You right. know, as long as you stay on the right side of things, you have nothing to worry about. You can right. keep your shoulders down and enjoy your day. Right. That's the way I look at it. And uh, what's the law on the consent for uh, videotaping someone else? In public? Is it? Yeah. There is no. There is no expectation of privacy in public. Okay. And if you're in a public setting and you want privacy, you have to create it. Is basically what it is. So legally, since you asked, okay. the way it works legally, and this is across the United States of America, Supreme Court's already ruled on this. If I'm standing somewhere where I have a legal right to be, Okay. I can videotape anything my eyes can see. Okay. As long as I'm standing somewhere that I have a right to be. If I'm standing in a restricted area or something, then that becomes a different story. Now, are you with some organization, or are you just doing this on your own because you don't have anything to do today, or what? Oh, I've got plenty to do today. Okay. Yeah. No, this is this is important stuff that we're doing. Okay. And what and what is that stuff? What is well, that I was telling you before. I'm just and for who? Basically, what we're doing is we're just documenting what's going on these days for posterity. And and who wants to know that? What what? Are oh, you there's with a lot of people. Are you with a company? I'm not with a company, no. Oh, okay. No. So you're just doing this for what? For who? For the purposes of documenting what's going on, for myself. Okay, and you're going to document this where? Just just for you? For your own purpose? Oh, no, 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 no. I you're going to go home and then review you what you've taped today and say, okay, well, I do, yeah, I, I do go, day. I do go home and review what I taped today once, so that way... Right. If there's an opportunity for me to learn something or how to improve what I'm doing the next day or something, I go through it for that reason. Uh, but I do share my video with people, sure. It goes out to people. <laughs> the world. Yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have uh, my my uh, videos get about 100,000 views a day right now is the average. Okay. So, yeah. Right. People are interested. People are interested in what's going on in the world. All right. You know, we stay out of the political discussions and we don't... Uh, take sides on anything we're just out to objectively document what's happening i'm kind of interested in people too so do you mind if i take your picture oh well you don't have to tell me you're interested in people you can take a picture of me to document who i am and that i was here you can tell me that's what you're doing that's fine yeah you have a, you have a first amendment right to take photographs and video in public all right so welcome Thank to the you. first amendment club you're our newest member we appreciate you oh that's uh no i'm not a member of that but yeah i can you don't it. you don't enjoy your first amendment I, I, uh, you're not a member of the first amendment you don't enjoy your first amendment I'm an American citizen, so yeah, I have all those amendments. That, yeah, you shouldn't I, just enjoy them either. You should cherish them because they're being stripped from you as we speak. I'm doing just fine, buddy. Okay. Really? The world's treating me okay. No, but you have to worry about other people than yourself. Wor worry about your kids and your grandkids. What kind of world are they going to live in? That's what I'm worried about. This is my son. Pretty good one. You know, uh, you I think? guess. Yeah. I don't know. According to me, because I'm the one raising them. Well, I don't know. No, no, no one else is. Well, no. Well, all I'm you saying know. is, is what's going on. We, we we have no idea what direction all this is going in yet. So it might turn out to be a wonderful world, and it might turn out to be a not so wonderful world. Who knows? Right. Right. So we're just out documenting it and keeping track and seeing what's going on. Okay, man. It seems like something I said gave you a little more uh, idea about what I'm doing, and maybe you're not in agreement with that. So that's fine. You know, wait. I just want you to also. No, I know. I, I know exactly what you're doing, and I know the groups that are out there. Right. doing it well just keep this in mind what we, i always we, like we to say is and then i'll leave you with that i think it's very important these days 
for us to find some middle ground between each other, especially people that may not agree with each other. Because I don't have to agree with everything that you do. I don't have to understand everything you do, and that comes back at me as well. But if we can find some middle ground and respect each other's right to do what we do, right. then I think that's a good day. Okay. That's, so that's what we're doing. And All I right. respect what you're doing, and I uh, thank you for your service, and I hope that uh, the place is a safer place for you being here. All right. Well, thank you. All righty. Thank Appreciate you. It. Yep. Have a good one. Yeah, you have a wonderful day. You can go report back to him and let him know everything's copacetic. All right. All right, buddy. So I just got a text from my uh, lookout that security is on the phone. So I'm sure they're calling the cops. Or, who knows, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be so uh, cynical. Maybe he's just calling in, letting them know that everything's fine and telling them there's some uh, First Amendment pains in the ass. I mean, uh, auditors out here. I don't know. But we will stick around and find out. Well, all right, guys. Um We've made an executive determination here that this guy's not going to call the police on us. Um, I don't believe he is. It sounded like he was on the phone with someone saying he'd be there shortly, um, which is good, you know? Um, if I'm not going to criticize any of the workers here for calling security. You know, that's what security's here for. And if they, uh, they get nervous for any reason or they feel like it's their uh, civic duty, to call security, then that's what they need to do for themselves. And uh, I'm not gonna fault anybody for that, that's fine. Uh, but I am glad that security showed up, uh, had a conversation with us for a couple of minutes and uh, did his little threat assessment, determined that we are no threat here and just uh, decided to go about his day. So uh, I'll give him credit for that. And uh, didn't call the cops on us. So uh, that's always a, uh, well, it's a double-edged sword like I always say. It's a good thing not to have the cops called on you. Uh, but it also, uh, I like it when the uh, police arrive because then it gives us an opportunity to have this conversation with them uh, that we so much uh, want to have with law enforcement and uh, try to bridge that gap between us citizens and uh, the guys in blue, guys and gals in blue. Um, but that's it. So uh, I always like to remind you, if you enjoy our videos, this one might not, but it might not have been that exciting. Uh, but this is kind of the result we're hoping for at the end, isn't it? Um, so if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do, the best way that you can support us is to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff helps our channels out tremendously. YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff and it doesn't cost you a dime. Uh, so I invite you to do that. And I also invite you to do that for watching The Watchman. Uh, he's around here somewhere. And uh, yeah, check him out. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. He's doing great. Um, got some good things coming up from him, so keep an eye on him. And uh, that's it. So. We're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road. The day is young and uh, see what else we could find for you. So coming to you from Boulder, Colorado at the Boulder County North Broadway campus. Watching a Watchman, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.